Hello everybody, welcome to a sheepish look at Dungeon Lot Shattered Lands. My name is Gena and today we're looking at a game which is very similar to Minesweeper, except it's got some delicious dungeon crawling elements. So if you're into one of those genres, you're gonna have a lot of fun. Uh, as you can see, you can select characters, I haven't actually unlocked the rest yet, but they all have individual kind of perks and uh, cool things to have about them. This guy, for example, you can see his active skills here are pretty nice, this one heals me. I can also do a bit of damage, I think, to other people. Yes, I can. This one does more damage. Uh, this, for example, is a bad thing. It actually takes away every tenth coin I collect will go to taxes and uh, or to feed the poor developers. That's what it says here. Um, so yeah, but this one, for example, when I kill an undead monster, I have a 5% chance to increase uh, the next attack's damage. So yeah, you've got different kind of stuff like that. Each level you can actually play um, as the other character. So there's a decent amount of replay value. These are the different acts. Right now there's three acts. I don't know if there's going to be more later. But even with three, pretty good amount because each one has a decent amount of levels within. And like I said, you can play them with multiple characters. So we've got the level select screen here. You can check out your statistics. Boring stuff, I don't want to look at that. You can go to the armory here, you can buy things. Uh, right now I've got this sword, it's pretty decent. I could buy the spear, but nah. I don't, uh, don't want to lower my accuracy here. I think... Is it saying... Okay, because it's a two-handed item, I guess I have less accuracy. I don't want that. And uh, I don't need armor. <laughs> I'm lying. I would absolutely buy that if I had four more coins, but I do not. So let's try to deal with that. So you can see here the character I'm going to save and then probably unlock them when I'm done. These are the two levels I've already done. As you can see here, it says Hero Progress. I beat this in one death. Yeah, I'm cool. Uh, the difficulty here, this one's strong. I'm not too ready for that yet, so I want to go over here. And uh, we've got 20 floors here. You need to beat them all in one run. I think you can save and quit and come back halfway through the, the level, but if you die, then you have to do it all again, so you need to do that in one run in, one, in that sense. So, there's a lot of really cool stuff to talk about. Um, every time you play, I mean, there's kind of completely new stuff to do. Uh, let's see here, for example. Okay, this is actually, I've already started the flo first floor, and then I saved and quit and came back out. That's why I already have this item. I think this is a completely random thing. Uh, because, for example, some levels might have darkness where uh, you have less accuracy and you can you have to try use a lantern to reveal some things or another level might have some stone golem that might throw things onto the enemies there's all sorts of kind of randomized things which which make it interesting sometimes you have like small choices to make in in small kind of um, it just kind of gives you a small story and it's like okay which side do you want to pick and all that I don't know if we'll see any of that in the video but let's just shut up and play the game so you can see here this is kind of uh, this is where I start over here and you just click and you reveal <laughs> tiles just like in Minesweeper uh, except it's not like my- wow, I'm already done. Um, the thing is, you get the coin and you can kind of leave the floor if you want to try and, uh, save your- your health or whatever, because you do obviously run the risk of taking damage as you fight enemies. But the problem with that is, every time you proceed to the next floor, you drain your food here. And, uh, I don't have that much food. I'm not sure what happens if you run out, because I haven't actually gone to that point yet. I've been pretty careful. But I can continue exploring the- the dungeon to find some more food or random stuff like this. So this is new. Let's- let's read what the tip says. Chopper attacks you when you explore nearby blocks. Avoid him for five turns and he will disappear. Whoa, so if I- Whoa, okay, okay. He's, uh... Ooh, hey, hey, dude. <laughs> so if I just click that, will he- Oh, he damages- Oh, I blocked it. That was pretty lucky. That was very lucky. So, uh, okay, <laughs> bad examples of first enemies. This guy's actually not an enemy, you can actually pay him with a coin here, and he'll attack an enemy for you. Alright, so you can see here his attack is number 1, and uh, my defense is 13. I believe if his attack is a bigger number than my defense, then he'll do damage to me directly. And if not, there's just a chance of actually lowering my defense. And there's different items to kind of increase that. Let's see what the items I have do. So this one will, uh, plus two to food supply. Okay, pretty good, in case I get really low on food. And this one does, uh, poison damage to a monster. Great. So enemies do have weaknesses. If you right-click on them, you can see this stuff. Okay, right now I don't understand the weaknesses. I think I probably can have to, I have to figure that out somehow. Uh, and also this guy can't bleed. You can do different sorts of attacks which will make enemies bleed over time. But I'm just gonna click that guy and kill him. What's this item? Looks lovely. Reading for bombs. Nice! Lovely! Uh, you can also salvage items. For example, here, let's do this. I don't want this item, because I want to save space for other better items, for example. And you can see here, it goes down here to charge it, and uh, you it basically you have a higher chance of these skills happening. These are passive skills, so killing an undead monster gives an 8% chance to increase the next attack's damage, or a chance that God himself will come down and help the paladin. That sounds amazing, and I really want to see that very, very badly. I haven't seen it yet. Uh, so there's lots of cool stuff. Like I said, I mean, it's a very simple game to play, kind of relaxed, and you can play it. It's, it's almost casual, but not really, because there is a bit of strategy to it. And uh, there you go, I've got some food supply, I got a dagger, which you can throw and do some good damage. And it makes the target bleed, that's pretty nice. 
Uh, yeah, that's it. I mean, you've seen the game basically, but like I said, there's a lot of cool stuff. There you go, this is the Guardian I was talking to you about. You've accidentally activated an ancient Guardian while exploring the dungeon. The Guardian throws a stone at, feel at fiends when they're detected. So that's pretty nice. I'm uh, very happy that he's not throwing rocks at me. And before we continue with this, I just wanted to say again, like this is an example of just the randomized stuff which kind of keeps the game fresh. It's, it's very nice. You see a dark cave, there might be something valuable inside. Uh, let's explore the cave, because what's the point of playing this game if we don't try to take some risks? You have found some loot, shock bomb times two, leave! I said leave out loud, apparently, that, there was a speech bubble next to it. It fixed one shock damage to a monster. Great, so if we find someone with a shock... Um, oh, there you, that was the golem, by the way, killing the enemy. Then I can use that on an enemy with a weakness. No, don't, don't kill him! Uh, the cool thing about this guy is he's, he's greedy, so he can be bribed with a lucky coin, so I think... If I use that lucky coin that I showed you I could use to pay the dwarf, then he'll actually just leave. I can craft stuff, by the way. I haven't done any of this yet, but yeah, there you go. I can just use that to craft it, and, and I, I usually don't bother with crafting in games. So as you can see here, I click this, no space. That's because I haven't unlocked these other slots. So, let's uh, let's just use the knife on him. Instead of salvaging it, I'm just going to use this. Get my face! <laughs> nice, what's his axe? Hit targets for 1 to 3 damage. So it's basically just like the dagger, but better. If target is woundable, double damage. Nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, I need to de damage with that. Oh, what's this guy? Gross, smelly, evil, and sentient? Oh, God, that's the worst. Oh, <laughs> look at this, like, hanging booger thing. Uh, likes long walks on the beach and hot cups of tea. There you go. The game does have a sense of humor, by the way, as you could probably tell. There is a, a bit of dialogue sometimes, and uh, that'll be filled with humor. You can skip it, though, if you don't care. Deals one damage to everyone when blown up with bombs. All right, let's not do that. Death rattle poison adjacent dungeon blocks. Oh, God. Ow! Ow! You have to click, by the way, multiple times to actually hurt them. And they don't attack you as you explore other tiles. I'm not sure if there's going to be some enemies that do do that. But uh, I don't know. Ooh, what's this? Alright, you can add skills here. I forgot about this. So this can heal me. Right now, my armor is low, so I'd rather actually just take that up. I wonder if he noticed the fork. <laughs> that does look uh, very painful. Cannibalism increases power when other creature dies. Oh, great. Hmm. Let's see. Let's think about how to deal with this guy. Alright, well I don't have, I wanted to see if I had some sort of armor increasing item, but I don't. So it's just, uh, by the way, when you're done with a level, I'm on floor 2 only? Oh god, I'm taking my sweet time. Floor 2 out of 20, alright, let's try maybe not fully explore every single floor. And uh, also I'm taking a long time to explain things to you. Alright, let's just, let's just, let's just, uh, how much damage does it do? Uh, yeah, it'll, it's okay, yeah, it might kill him. Oh, nice, I've got a chest. Thank you, my friend. What does this do? I think this increases my damage. Yes, it does. Damage bonus. Let's get out of here, man. Whoa, what's this? Click the stones in the right order to repeat the... <laughs> Alright. Oh, God, there's gonna be more. Nice. I'm pretty good at this usually, but I don't want it to get too long. Too long. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I was also talking, so... Yeah! Give me that coin! I'm filthy rich, now I can buy that armor, but too bad I can't because I'm not at the armory. <laughs> oh god, I'm starving, I just realized. Oh, do I slowly drain health? That, that would be a bit more fair than just dying instantly. This guy takes a lot of damage, so let's just... Actually, let's use an item, I have so many items. This does is a bomb, but I think this guy said he, he explodes. Let's just try it, whatever. Boom! Ow! Yeah, I think he did that to me, maybe? I'm not sure. Oh, was that his weakness? I think it just said that was his weakness. Let's continue getting some more things. We can get the coin. There's also an item which reveals where the gold coin is immediately. Key, I mean. Uh, yeah, we got that. Let's just make some space. Okay, let's let's get some food, actually. <laughs> I just realized I have that item. And let's get the hell out of here. I normally, probably if I'm not doing a video, I would take my time and actually explore everything. But uh, it's okay. We got a video to do here. I can just replay the level some other time with another character. Uh, let's see, you can also click here, by the way, and sacrifice food to heal, but I'm fine right now on, on health, and this guy here, you you will encounter him every now and again, you can sell stuff to him, let's see, do any of my things sell for a decent amount, not really, and there's nothing really I would like to buy, oh, increases mood, I should talk about mood, by the way, this thing up here, my morale right now, uh, it's, that's mood, I think, and morale is the same thing, uh, so right now I have no effects, but if I, for example, I can try to steal something from this guy. I, it says paladins don't steal. Yes, that's right. I did try it. Don't judge me. Um, but this character, I'm assuming it doesn't let me steal. And it actually just lowered my my morale. And I think he did. It gave me some sort of bad bonus. Like, I think less accuracy or something like that. Uh, but yeah, if, you're, if your morale is higher, obviously you get stat bonuses. 
and you can just do different kind of things to boost your morale. Uh, usually with like drinking beer or something like that. Let's see, uh, no, I don't have any use for any of this. Alright, let's just get out of here, let's complete- <laughs> What floor are we on, like four? A group of cultists in masks are torturing a cat because it's too cute for this world. What? Save the cat! After a short fight, you put an end to this madness. The cat is saved. You have lost minus 3 HP. Your morale increased. There you go. So I actually got lucky and now we've got a smiling green moon looking thing. Oh god, it's a skeleton archer. How does a skeleton draw a bow? With crayons! That's funny. <laughs> And we've got uh, bloodless can bleed barricades. We don't know their weakness. Okay, let's just try to smite them with our hammer. That'll be too much damage. It'll be wasted. Oh, I just realized. Can I not reveal that? Oh, it does take more than one click. Well, excuse me, skeleton. I didn't realize you're uh, you had some reinforced tiles here. Nice, more coins. Oh God, another new enemy, a ghoul, smarter than the average undead, which isn't saying much, but he will still take a bite out of you. Protect other fiends from hero attacks by taking their damage, and can be bribed with a lucky coin. So that means if I attack another enemy, he's gonna protect them? Oh! What? Excuse me, person! I'm gonna kill you! That is incredibly rude, don't- this is nothing to do with you! Let's try and poison him? I feel like he would- oh right, I think he's immune to poison, so let's try and electrocute him instead. So we can poison the other dude. Yeah, that's right, this guy is a dude. And I should probably use that stone to sharpen my weapon. I- I kind of always forget about my weapons. In, and items in games. I should also give myself armor points. I should I should just be using my stuff. I always like beat the level and I'm just like go to the next level and I'm surprised that my inventory is empty and I'm like I should have used everything that I've been that I've been saving this whole time. Uh-huh, okay, more coins. Where's the key? There you go, finally. I guess we might as well just reveal it because we're almost at the end. Got my face. Got my face. Because I think when you fully reveal a, a floor you'll get that extra chest at the end there. Alright, we've got oh god! This, oh, is that guy sh constantly shooting me even if I'm not attacking him? Uh, he rattles the chains when he gets hungry or tired or sleepy or bored. Well, what else could you do, right? Let me just try reveal this. Oh, yeah, he's shooting at me. Excuse me, person. Untouchable? Uh, does it say? Oh, we'll constantly attack here. I completely didn't even read that. Minus 50% to accuracy. Box around this monster are tough to open. Great. Uh, so do I have to... Oh, it's because of this stuff. So I have to actually make my way to him? Oh, God, that's horrible. And right now, this... These guys are not making it easy for me. Alright, let's try and make... Uh, can I do something? Probably not. Okay, let's just... Oh my god, more enemies. I'm gonna heal myself. Oh, actually, can I use on him? Yeah! That didn't really kill him. <laughs> but I guess I could have uh, used some sort of spell to get to him faster. Oh god, I am gonna meet my demise right now, aren't I? Come on, break it! Die! You evil skeleton! Oh god, he did so much damage to me. That was... Oh, that was horrible. Show me target. You know, it would have been nice if you came a bit earlier, buddy. But it's okay. I'll forgive you for now. I am not doing very, very hot at the moment. As the cool kids say. Uh, I am dead. <laughs> awesome. Alright, well, there you have the game. Pretty cool. I think it's, it's a very simple, easy game to kind of get into. But there's a lot of stuff which keeps it from being too bland. And, uh, I don't know. I, I love all the randomizers and things. It just, it really keeps the game fresh and... There's a lot of variety every single run you do, and it's, it's, it's a very, it's one of those games where it's just kind of like, okay, I'll just do one more round really quick, you know, and it's, I mean, you can also just quit and save, which is nice, you don't have to redo everything again. But anyway, please check out the link in the description to buy the game on Steam if you do like the look of it, and please don't forget to like and share my video if you enjoyed it, it helps me out a lot. Until next time, goodbye, I love you!